Hello everyone, this is Deb Halk of Deb Halk's Crafty Cottage and I am here bringing you my hashtag plan fun get things done video. This is an open collab. Uh, we post on Mondays and it is hosted by Crafty Girl Chronicles. Hello. And um, yeah, it's just um, to try and get things on schedule. There are some other planner collabs too that post also on Monday. I don't remember the names of them and I signed up to do it with Crafty Girl Chronicles um, as a continuation to one that fabulously 50, fashionably 50 something and beyond did last year. Anyway, so this is my planner video. I did something a little different. I did start off with some washi because this planner has like a pale blue striping, oops, well not on that one, across every page, uh, except this one which is a plan next year. Yeah, um, and then I had it in my mind I wanted to do stenciling, so I brought out this Echo Park Paper Company 6x6 stencil, and um, instead of using all Stampin' Up! inks, I had these, I'm sorry for the glare, these Gina K inks in here, and I had never used them. They still had the little seal on them, but powder blue, I think this was a set, powder blue, sweet mango, sweet corn, and whisper. So I used them, and then I did, this washi tape has some purple in it, so I brought in Stampin' Up's Blackberry Bliss just for two of them. Um, now the thing is, this ink does go through the paper. Doesn't matter on this one because there's washi on the other side, but on this one <laughs> you can see it here. So I'll probably have to put washi across here next week. And how I put them down was with these. These are makeup brushes off Amazon. Um, I don't know if they're, they're just... You can get them other places, like I know Altenew has some, but they, um, theirs are like this. These come in like a set of, I don't remember, 12 or 20 or something like that. Um, Altenew's, it's a shorter nib, but it does give you good coverage. So I like them both. Um, these are cheaper, and I think you get, pretty sure you get like 20, and they're half black and half pink. So I used, you know, this is for the purple, the orangey, the yellow, I don't think I used that one, and the blue. So I do them by color family. I already had one for, I forget what, some other color. Oh, it might have been purple and I didn't realize it. Oh well. Um, anyway, that's what I did. And then I just put a strip of washi down here. And as for the pens, you know I'm using my Paper Mate um, flare pens, and I use them almost always for my planner. They do, um, well, I better to show you on this page. They do, like, you can see the text a little bit, but you know, I, I, it's okay. <laughs> I, I don't want to use just regular pens on everything because then it wouldn't be as pretty. So what's going on this week? Today is a busy day. I have to make a call at 9 a.m. This is being recorded uh, closer to 8 a.m., which is a little late, actually. So I, I am doing that, and I'll get that up after I do this, and then I'll go down and get ready for that call and have breakfast. <laughs> um, then I'm coming back upstairs because I need to make the hashtag pink ribbon project for today and tomorrow, 10, 21, and 22. Today's will be book plate, which shouldn't take me too long, I don't think. And then tomorrow's is coloring page, and I already have that picked out, so hopefully that'll take me longer. Um, and I also want to do another coloring page for Man hashtag Mandela Mondays 2024. That's hosted by, uh, um, by the way, Pink Ribbon is hosted by Jean at Jean's Gems. And um, Mandela Mondays is hosted by M Beans Coloring and More, I think it is. Anyway, I will link all three of their channels down below and anybody else I mention in here. This might be the only, no, I think just one more. 
So, and then I do want to get out and walk at lunchtime. So I'm thinking these will, this one and this one will take me through the morning for sure. Then I'll go walk it. Well, actually, these two plus this will take me through the morning for sure. And then I have to go walk and have lunch and stuff. And then uh, in the afternoon, I need to do Mandela Mondays. I don't think I picked one that's, I think it's a little easier than the last Mandela I did. So you'll have to come see later. That'll probably be in the evening. And, and I have to figure out something for dinner because I, I didn't do my meal plan. And yesterday I left it up to my son to pick and he picked pizza. <laughs> I shouldn't have pizza. I had a little salad with it, but it still wasn't good for me. Anyway, tomorrow I have the pink ribbon coloring page. It should already be scheduled from today. You know, and also just to let you know, it's not just making these things, the doing the videos and checking them and editing, because I get long-winded in case you didn't notice. Um, and I try and cut some of that out, which you probably don't notice. But um, so, yeah, <laughs> otherwise my videos would all be probably 40 minutes long. I don't know. Um, anyway. It takes time, so in between making this stuff and doing doing the videos takes time. Anyway, so then tomorrow I want to do the other two projects for this week for Wednesday and Thursday, and those will be watercolor slash markers, and I sort of have something, an idea in mind, and Thursdays will be flower. Um, I'm struggling a little bit with that one because I use flower so in so many things. Um, I have an idea, but I'm not sure yet. Um, I need to walk 40 minutes. Tomorrow is supposed to be hotter, like almost 80 degrees or something again, Fahrenheit. So I want to try and walk actually in the morning. I should have that up here uh, as soon as it gets daylight. And it'll be a little chilly, but that's okay. And that way I'll have my whole day. It'll energize me and I'll have my whole day. I also want to make the pink ribbon project for... Uh, next Monday and Tuesday, and I don't remember what those are. Those are mixed media postcard. Oh, I already have an idea for that, so that shouldn't take too long. And um, 1029s is fabric. Eh, not sure, not sure. So then the next day, um, walk 40 minutes in a.m. again, because that day is also supposed to be close to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. And um, and then I have to make the pink ribbon projects for next Wednesday and Thursday, October 30th and 31st, which is stencil and collage. And I'm pretty sure collage might trip me up a little bit. Stencil I can do, no problem. And um, I don't have an idea yet, but I'll figure it out and just clean the litter and, you know, vacuum around there and stuff. And then so in the morning... I have the pink ribbon and I also need to run out to Home Depot for an exterior uh, spotlight bulb and uh, my grocery store giant just for a few groceries that the other one I stopped at last week didn't have and I need them for meals that I'm trying to plan. For my top three walk, get back on track because I have not walked the last two days other than around the house and stuff like that. It was really bad. Stay on schedule with the craft schedule. I absolutely have to do that because next week is going to be um, prepping for craft fair starting Saturday. Actually, I'm I should have been prepping for that like now because my craft fair, which is jewelry, is uh, November 3rd. And I want to make a few things, which I'll probably end up having to do here. I don't know. And I also put stop spending. I have been on an Amazon Michaels Hobby Lobby spending spree here and I just printed off the last of the invoices um, I had to stop watching coloring videos of all these new coloring books and all this stuff because I don't need any more I have enough to last me for a year now right <laughs> or at least six months something like that okay um, and the saying here oh, is I do the very best I know how that's true the very best I can and I mean to keep doing so until the end. And that's Abraham Lincoln. So that, I think, is a really good quote. Just do the best you can 
Know that you're doing the best you can and keep on doing that as long as you can. Okay, so um, Thursday morning, there is a video I already scheduled for Deck the Year. That is hosted by Penny's Crafty Creations. It will be week 43 and 44 um, already scheduled. I scheduled that a week or so ago. But on Thursday, I want to make the Deck the Year for November 7th because I'm not going to have time to do it next week. And um, usually after the craft fair, you know, I have to do some paperwork and yeah, yeah. Anyway, so I'm not going to have time next week is what I'm saying. And first few days after the third, uh, I need to work on the boo bag contents the rest of the day and try to finish it and put stuff away because I, my, my, my room here is a disaster. Walk at lunchtime. Um this won't take me that long and then I really need to start on this, take a break at lunchtime, walk and eat, you know, that kind of thing. And this uh, hashtag pink ribbon, I'm going to schedule it for the PM since I have that going up in the AM. And late that night, I have to take my son, Chris, to the car dealer after he gets home from work at almost 11.30 PM <laughs> uh, and bring him back home because he's dropping his car off for state inspection. And the following day, he took off from work, but I'm going to have to take him down to pick up his car. I thought he was going to go there and sit and wait, but apparently not. Um, Friday, I want to watch if Martha has her video up for hashtag shuffle cut create. She usually, that's Martha Makes Art. She usually does that on the 25th each month. And I'm way behind, like, you know, four months off on that one or something. But I want to see if I have time to do it. I should and sometime in November and then the rest of the day other than walking again at lunchtime because these two days are a little cooler than over here we're back down into the 60s for highs on these two days supposedly anyway so I want to walk at lunchtime 40 minutes each each day and other than that do jewelry the whole day and get videos up from my Dahlia Designs channel, catch up because I am behind with some my own collab there for like two two months I had to catch up on now. Um, I think it was August and, um, or no, maybe it was July and this past month. Um, and I need to get those up. And then Saturday and Sunday, prepare for the craft fair. I just, and if there's anything I have to finish, I need to do that first, but then prepare for craft fair. There's actually some earrings I want to make also for the craft fair, but I want to see what I have in my finished piece inventory first. And I have some finished pieces that I haven't even priced yet from last year. So yeah, also need to do my meal plan on Sunday and my usual clean the litter on Wednesday, Sunday, clean the litter, vacuum dust, mop the downstairs kind of thing. And I, I do clean the bathroom whenever I feel like it needs it. I don't have a set time and I'm not putting in here, you know, cooking meals, um, dinners and taking time to prep something for my lunch and my breakfast because I'm supposed to eat three meals a day, even if they're small ones, um, but healthy ones. So yeah, that's it. Um, I didn't write my gratitude in, but I might put something like I'm grateful I went to a hand doctor, hand surgeon last Friday. Luckily, I don't have to have surgery, but I, um, she popped a cyst on my, my thumb here, but I can still, I don't know if it worked. Uh, she injected cortisone there and here. Uh, I'm starting to get arthritis, but I have what's called trigger thumb and trigger finger where they keep popping in and out of their sock sockets. And apparently as a result of doing that for a while, like six months now, uh, this one formed a cyst and it felt like a bone spur, but she said it was a cyst and I felt it pop when she put that needle in and pushed it and went, that was, ugh, it, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but I'm still feeling a bump now. She said it would take two weeks and then it should feel better. And I guess if it doesn't, I'll call, I'll call her back. Um, I'm also getting it in this hand, but it's not quite as bad as my left. Thank goodness, because I am right-handed. But, you know, you hold things. Like, I'm having trouble gripping jars, which I usually grip them with this hand and twist with this hand. And I can't even, my strength in my hands is decreasing. I can feel it, and it makes me sad. However, 
um, I said, well, what about the arthritis? And she said, and it's almost a direct quote, but not quite. She said, well, embrace it. Be thankful that you have lived this long to be getting arthritis. So there you go. Gratitude. I'm thankful that I have lived this long because not everybody has um, to be able to um, have the problem of getting arthritis. Uh, so different perspective, right? And I really like this doctor. She was actually very good. And uh, we talked about walking and I even talked to her about, well, is it good to be doing small detail stuff like making jewelry and um, crafting, you know, paper crafting, coloring? Absolutely. She said, that's wonderful. Keep your hands moving. Keep your body moving. Best thing for arthritis. My first doctor, my family doctor, seemed to think that all this detail work would be bad for it, but the other doctor didn't think so. So anyway, there you go. A little bit of my life <laughs> from last week and that that popped up unexpectedly unexpectedly because i had a tuesday doctor appointment she referred me to this doctor and i called the same day i think that afternoon and i had no idea she'd be able to take me in on friday because usually when i call for a specialist it's like two months out or something it's ridiculous but anyway so that's going to be my gratitude i'll write it off camera and i don't have anything in notes right now i might put something in there if i remember on how the week went and how did I do. So let me know what you think and uh, sorry for blabbering on. I will get off of here and I hope you have a wonderful, uh, happy, healthy, and productive week. Hugs, love, and peace.